How are we doing everybody? This is Dan from Halley. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining me, what I do here is I react to music and music videos, and today we're going to be checking out Blackpink for the first time with their hit song. How do you like that? Now, I know heads nor tails from this group. All I know is that they're four women based out of South Korea. They are on Forbes' list of top 30 under 30. They consistently hit the Billboard top charts. They are very philanthropic and they want their legacy to be that of people that make the world a better place than uh, they left behind. So, I mean, that is something that I can definitely get behind here. If, if you want to put good back into the world, I have no problem featuring you here on my channel. Uh, and I do like to research just a little bit to uh, know who I'm going to be putting on my channel and giving a platform to. Uh, because that's just kind of the person that I am. So, I'm kind of excited about this. I've been listening to a lot of different genres here on my channel uh, over the past two months, almost two months that I've been running it. And there's a, been a lot that I didn't think that I would be into, so I'm not that surprised anymore when I, I see a group that ends up being something that I'm, that I'm really liking a lot. So I have some form of expectation for Blackpink. I wouldn't say that the, the bar is set high, but it's not set low either. It's somewhere in that middle ground. Uh, so yeah, guys, um, before we get into this, I just want to put it out there into the ether. Uh, something that's very important to me if you're going to be coming back to my channel. So when I look at the analytics and I look at the, uh, the data on my reaction videos, when I think about reacting to another song from an artist, I have to look at the last song's performance. Um, and I do take into account how, I, how my reaction to that group is, is perceived as well. Uh, but I have to look into the reach, engagement, and all that stuff. Uh, but one of the big factors isn't, you know, the, the likes, but, you know, the views, how many times has... My, uh, my video been viewed, but also how many new subscribers did that reach, especially when I'm reacting to a group for the first time, much like I am right now. So if you haven't already subscribed and you're going to be coming back here, 81% of my returning viewers actually aren't subscribed here. But if you're going to be returning, it costs nothing. There's even two buttons. There's one right there-ish, yeah. It's, you know, pink and blue says subscribe and then there's one under the video as well it's uh, the standard red subscribe box with the uh, white text press that you get notified every time that I post new content to this channel I do so twice daily five days a week this week six days a week so I'm already breaking my schedule uh, just a weekend but hey guys that's fine um, more content the better but the point is I always put out new stuff for you to watch and if you're going to be coming back it's worthwhile to, to, to press that button and it lets me know what you were interested in seeing here on my channel. So when I see, uh, you know, react to some more Blackpink, if I don't have a lot of subscribers or there's not a lot of views, it kind of sets me back thinking that people don't actually want to see it, uh, that the people that are requesting are kind of in the vocal minority. So it is important because it's also important to the algorithm for YouTube that, uh, you know, engagement and all that stuff uh, that you want to see it so that this gets visible on, you know, YouTube searches and recommendations. All right, I'm going to shut up. Well, not shut up. I'm just going to press play and we can, uh, we can watch Blackpink. How you like that? Oh. I like that. Ooh. 
this uh this video is very very visual there's a lot of vibrant colors here and you know i, I i've used the term sensory overload before um when it comes to when it comes to videos that i'm watching for for songs that i'm supposed to be listening to there's there's been times where i get caught up in the visuals of a video and it takes me it takes me out of the song i'm i'm not saying that that's happening here um but it's it's definitely close it's not a bad thing uh it, it's it's just a different element to get into uh get into the song right uh but the song's pretty cool too i mean take out the vocals oh god that that probably sounds really bad i don't mean the way it sounds let me finish um if you take out the the vocals and just leave the song that's something that i can get really really into it's it's very catchy, it's very upbeat, it's very infectious. Now add those uh, add those vocals back in and these ladies can these ladies can sing uh, and, and sing really well and that's on top of the uh, the choreography here. Now it's not the the greatest choreography that I've ever seen, but it's uh, it's very reminiscent to a lot of uh those girl hip hop groups that uh, that were around in the 2000s. Uh, and they were great as well, but it, it was it was more simplistic choreography. But it was I don't want to say simplistic probably isn't the right word for it, uh, because that makes it sound like I can do it, and I definitely can't. Um, it, it's not BTS choreography, you know, uh, or it, it's there's 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 a point to it. It's to emphasize the lyrics, is what I'm saying. It's word for word choreography and not an elaborate dance routine. That's what I'm going for, but they do it really well, and it, it takes a whole lot more work than I could ever possibly do, so there's that. All right, let's keep on going here. Yeah, me, I'm already lipping along to it. Alright, so I guess this is the point of the time where I eat my words and take back that elaborate dance routine. Um, but uh, the, the rest remains. I mean, these... Uh, I, I think some of the girls, I don't even... I, I don't know the names. Um, sing a little bit better than, than the others. But uh, I think that, I, that they have a really cool group composition. Uh, because it looks very much like uh, it might be a 50-50 match between this group there's uh half of them half of them are a little bit more hip hop and the other half are very traditional vocalists the the blonde girl sounds very nice i i like the way that she she projects and enunciates her uh her vocals uh she is a really really good singer and again the the visuals in this video are insane they are intense they're very striking, gripping, grabbing. Like it, it feels like I'm a part of this. You know, it's not just me sitting in my chair watching these girls sing. Uh, it's this is good. I'd watch. The, I'd watch them again. I 
like it just fine. All right, cool. All right. Okay, so I guess that's one of their names is Rosé. That blonde girl is Rosé. Cool. I like you, Rosé. You sound awesome. So, yeah, I can definitely see me checking them out again. Uh, that was a that was a really cool video. I mean, halfway through, I started lipping along with the with the lyrics and. I've talked on this channel a bit about the composition of what makes a hit song, and this got all the makings of it. And I know, I know that it is a hit song. I, I'm not dumb. And also, Google exists. So, <laughs> so uh, a lot. This is a lot of the what what makes a contemporary song really catch on. And by catch on, I mean catchy. Uh, because part of it is, you know, catching repetitive lyrics, which which this has um, in spades. So I mean, they're they're obviously singing Korean. I believe they're singing Korean, or that's my assumption, being that they're South Korean for the bulk of the song. But then when they get to the the chorus and the hook, if they could, they transfer into English. Uh, even the uh, hip hop breakup part there that they had was uh was mostly in, in English as well. Uh, so they were selling that to the particular market. Which why why wouldn't you if you can if you can sing and perform in English. I don't know if they're fluent in English, uh, but if you can sing and perform in English, why not? That's a whole new market that you can uh, that you can attack and they've definitely attacked it from uh from what I've researched here. Yeah, this is uh this is a good song. Uh they're they're a good group. I like what they I like what they look like visually. Like the and by them I mean I like what their production puts together, but also their uh, their outfits are really stunning to look at. Uh, they're vibrant. They're there's there's just a lot going on there that I would have uh, I would have expected. I but again I didn't really expect much. Now as far as the bar that they hit, they they went over. I, I had some form of an expectation for them, I ex and I did expect them to be in the, the middle rung of that expectation, but they nailed it. They absolutely nailed it. All right, guys. Well, that is going to be it for my reaction to Blackpink's How You Like That. Again, uh, this is the point in time where you can go over, you can press that subscribe button, give me a like, or go down into the comment section, make a request for what you'd like to see me react to next. And it doesn't even have to be Blackpink. If you have somebody else that you might want to see me react to, I react to a lot here on this channel already. You know, I've been doing BTS, I've been doing Dimash, I've had Angelina Jordan, I've had uh, Diana and Kudanova, I do voice play, Voctiv, uh, I do Home Free, and... You know, that's on top of music in general, you know, contemporary hits and legends that are out there. I've I've done it all. I've done Queen. There's lots here on my channel. You can go to my channel, press subscribe, go to my video uploads and see all the stuff that I've been reacting to. I'm actually uh, almost at 100 different reaction videos. So that's pretty solid. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys at the next reaction video. Bye now.